My name is Edebiru Bermudia Endurance of the Department of Human Physiology, Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, College of Medicine, and Brusalin University, Ekbuma. I want to put us through on blood physiology, that is blood and body fluid. By way of introduction, blood is defined as a red color fluid that circulate through the vascular system in humans and other vertebrates, carrying nutrient and oxygen to and waste products, including carbon dioxide, from other parts of the body. So blood is very, very important. Then that will take us to the properties of blood. In terms of properties of blood, as we have it here, properties of blood, in terms of color, red blood cell is red in color. And in arterial blood, red blood cell is colored red. And because of the content of oxygen, then in venous blood, red blood cell is purple red because of the content of carbon dioxide. Then that will take us to the volume. In terms of volume, average volume of blood in a normal adult is 5 liters. In a newborn baby, the volume is 450 ml. That means it's reduced in children. It's 450 ml. It increases during growth. That is why in children, there is always increasing heart rate because of the reduction in red blood cell in hemoglobin content. Then, this red blood cell increases during growth and reaches 5 liters at puberty, that is as the new net is growing, the red blood cell is equally increasing. Then it reaches five liter at puberty. And if in female, red blood cell is slightly less and is about 4.5 liter. The reason why red blood cell is reduced in female it's not because female menstruates. It is hormonal. The, the factors affecting red blood cell in female is hormonal. And the hormone responsible for the reduction of red blood cell in female is because of testosterone. Testosterone is born in male as compared to female. Female have little secretion of testosterone. And testosterone has a role to play in the production of erythrocyte because testosterone is pro erythropoietin and this pro this erythropoietin testosterone it promotes the secretion of erythropoietin and erythropoietin stimulates the red bone marrow for the secretion of erythrocyte that is why it slightly reduce red blood cells slightly reduce in female. Equally, that will take us to reaction and pH. In terms of reaction and pH, blood is slightly alkaline. Red blood cell is slightly alkaline in terms of reaction and pH. And the pH of blood is, is about 7.4. That is the pH of blood is about 7.4. When you draw the indicator scale, it starts from 1. The indicator scale starts from 1 to 14. And the neutral point is 7. And the pH of blood, being that it's slightly alkaline, is about 7.4. That is the pH of blood. That will take us to the specific gravity of blood. In terms of specific gravity of blood, is 
1.052 to 1.061. That is the specific gravity of blood. The next property of blood is viscosity. The reason why scientists or individuals usually conclude that blood is thicker than water is because of specific gravity of blood. And in blood is five times more viscous than water. That means blood is five times more thicker than water. And the reason behind this is mainly due to the blood cells. And what are the blood cells? The red blood cells, which is the erythrocytes, the white blood cell, which is the leukocytes, the platelets, which is the thrombocytes. It's because of these blood cells and the plasma protein. What are the plasma protein? One of the plasma protein, albumin, fibrinogen, globulins. So the presence of albumin, the presence of uh, fibrinogen, and the presence of globulin that is present in blood, he makes it more viscous, five times more viscous than water. The next thing is the composition of blood. In terms of composition of blood, that is what is present in blood, the composition. That is the, in terms of blood compartment, the composition. Blood contain the blood cells, which are called the formed elements. I repeat, blood contain the blood cells, which are called the formed elements. And the formed elements, they are classified into three. One, the erythrocytes, which is the red blood cell. Two, the leukocytes, which is the white blood cell. Three, the thrombocytes, which is the platelets. That is the formed element. And equally, the fluid matrix. The fluid, the fluid matrix is known as the plasma. What differentiates the plasma? What differentiates the plasma from the serum? You say serum. Serum is equal to plasma minus fibrinogen. Mathematically, what differentiates the serum from the plasma is fibrinogen. Fibrinogen is not present in serum, but fibrinogen is present in plasma. Every other constituent, they are present in plasma, but in exemption of fibrinogen, fibrinogen is not present in serum. The reason is that during blood clots, the fibrinogen is converted into fibrin. That is the reason in terms of composition of uh, blood. Then that will take us to the hematocrit value. In terms of hematocrit value, that is the percentage of blood in the cell. And when you separate red blood cells using the hematocrit and centrifuge, you will have the upper part, the upper part, the upper part, you have the upper part, 